guys, I'm here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 1 Lesson 2 homework. So let's get started. Number 1, solve. Alright, so A, we have 36,000 times 10. So 10 has 1 zero, so we're adding 1 zero to 36,000. So that would be 360,000. And B, we're doing 36,000, but this time divide by 10. So then we're moving one zero because we're dividing and 10 also has one zero. So this becomes 3,600. And C, 4.3 times 10. We see a decimal point. So if we're multiplying by 10, so it's getting bigger, then we move the decimal point one to the um, right because 10 has one zero, so we're moving it one place to the right. So then that would be 43. And 4.3 divided by 10, we're moving it one place to the left because 10 has one zero, so it's one place and to the left because we're dividing. So that'd be 0.43 or 0 0.43. All right, and E, 2.4 times 100. So let's multiply, so let's move it two places to the right because there's two zeros and 100. So that'd be one place to the right and then two, so that'd be 24, but then we move another place, that'd be 240. All right, and then, um, let's see. F, we have 24 divided by 1,000. So if we're dividing it by 1,000, so let's first we have like 24 here, and the decimal point would be here. So divide by 1,000, we move it three places to the um, left. That'd be one, two, and three. So that'd be 0 0.024, and yeah. So if we're moving it back, then we would have 24, because it's three zeros. And G, 4.54 times 1,000. So let's move our decimal point three places to the right. I mean, the left. So that's, what did I say? Yeah, the right. So 1, 2, 454, and 3. That'd be 4540, so 4540. And H, 3045.4 divided by 100. So our decimal point would go 1, 2, so we have 30.454. Number two, find the product. So the product is the answer we get when we're multiplying. So 14,560 times 10. Then we just add one more zero. That'd be 145,600. And now we have times 100, so we add two zeros. That'd be 1,456,000. And now if we're, divide, we're multiplying by 1,000, plus one, two, three zeros, that'd be um, 14,560,000. And now it says, explain how you decided on the number of zeros in the products for A, B, C. Well, I mean, the number of zeros, like in the 10, 100, 1,000. So however many zeros there are in those numbers, that's how many zeros are going to be in the product. There are are how many zeros there will be in the product. So yeah, because there's three zeros here, that means there's three zeros on the answer, and there's another zero because of that zero. Okay. All right, next page. Um, number three, find the quotient. So A, 16.5 divided by 10. So divide by 10, so we're moving at one place, um, one, our decimal point, one to the left. So that'd be one, 1 1.65. And 16.5 divided by 100 would be moving at two places to the left. So that'd be one, two. So that would be 0 0.165. Now it says, explain how you decided where to place the decimal in the quotients for A and B. 
Well, however many zeros there are, um, or how many shifts we're going to um, shift the decimal in place. So we can write however many zeros there are that's how many shifts to the um, left because we're moving the decimal point to the left. And number four, Ted says that three tenths multiplied by a hundred equals three hundred thousandths. Is he correct? Use a place value chart to explain your answer. So let's do our place value chart. So we have our thousands, hundreds, tenths. Let's do our decimal place. One tens, hundreds, thousands. So let's write um thousand three hundreds and we have our tenths and then here we have our ones tens and we have our hundreds and thousands all right so Ted says that three tenths that would be 0 0.3 Multiply by 100 equals 300 thousandths. So times 100, that's two places to the left. So that'd be one, two. So that'd be, so that'd be 30. So times 100 would be 30. And he says it equals 300 thousandths, but as you can obviously see, it equals 3 tenths, which is 30, and that's definitely not 300 thousandths. But also, 300 thousandths is actually 3 tenths, like how he started with. Because if you write it out, like, like that too, that's like 300,000. So it's like the answer he got didn't change at all. Um, but in this case it did change, so he is incorrect. So no, Ted is not correct. And that is the place where we tried to show our answer. In number five, Alaska has a land area of about 1,700,000 square kilometers. Florida has a land area um, one tenth the size the size of Alaska. What is the land area of Florida? Explain how you found your answer. All right, so Alaska, um, 1,700,000. And since Florida has one tenth the size, that means we're dividing it by 10. So we divide by 10, there's one zero and 10, so we take away one zero. So that'd be one seven, so our answer would be 170,000. So that um, is the land in Florida. So Florida has 170,000 square kilometers and how I found our answer since Florida is one tenth the size of Alaska the land area would be one million seven hundred thousand divide by 10 divide by 10 which gives us 170,000 so yeah all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel see you next time bye